Shalom Aleichem. Few thoughts I wanted to share with you. Hopefully I'll be able to to send this message. In many ways the world seems to be very complex, very hectic, pressuring us in different ways. On many, many aspects, we don't know how to give and to find advice for our spirits that are struggling badly. And also from different angles, in different ways, things that we cannot predict, cannot understand. But it came to my mind to, to express that out loud, that really, our mission here on earth is an eternal mission in a temporary world. We experience the creation under the limitation of time and therefore we can see and understand only a very small amount of what that there is in creation. You see things from the individual perspective and you experience life only in a way that you're able to, through those glasses that are constricted into time and into place, when in reality there is no part of this creation that is not eternal and endless. If you go look with a microscope, you'll find it. If you look with a telescope to the sky, you will see that. If you will try to count any part of creation, you will see that there is no end to the number of those units that you will try to measure, to count. There is no end to the combinations, to the odds, to the chances, to the options. There is no end to the flowers. There is no end to time. Therefore, there is no time. Time is only the experience that we are experiencing when we are trapped inside the individual physicality. A dog can sense time. He's waiting for his owners to come and open the door for him to be able to run out to the park. A bird has a certain time. A human being, of course. But that is the experience of the individual. But the reality is that we are beyond time and every moment in timeline is an eternal experience. You are now experiencing this moment with no end. This moment that you're experiencing now is your attachment to infinity. Infinity is not in the past and not in the future. It's only in the present time. And in the present time, we're experiencing infinity. This is why in Hebrew, we're calling the present time, the hove, the existence. And that experience is being called Havaya. And Havaya is the letters of the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei, that we're not allowed to mention and to say until the great days of redemption will take place. Therefore, the name of that experience of the present time is equal in letters and in pronunciation to the name of our eternal God, of Hashem. The name Hashem is the name that represents infinity because He is it, He is the One, He is the Blessed One the blessed present time. And in the present time, you experience infinity. And like I said a few times in different videos, in different situations, 
also in the past you were experiencing the past in the present time and also in the future you will experience the future in the present time there is no other experience but the present time and the present time is eternal because you're here and you are eternal and infinity is surrounding you and filling you from within everything is endless there is no end to anything in the present time the end is only when you look back or you look forward then there are limits but when you are now there are no limits maybe it's hard to explain and maybe it's even harder to understand but for me it's a great encouragement to know that even though that we are in a temporary world we as beings are eternal it gives me the power to know that i can cross every challenge and every difficulty and not to be scared and not to be afraid of challenges because i understand that when all the waves will pass i will still be there because my being is eternal and therefore a person in every struggle in any kind of difficulty grab that advice and try to remind yourself that you are a creation of light that you are light itself and that you need now to face a certain reality and that is your eternal mission on earth to do those good things to be good, to be strong, to defend, to protect, to fight even for the sake of goodness, for the sake of good to reveal and to shine. But don't go under the limitation of time to be scared what if and what if and what if. Prepare yourself to better days and hope for greatness to be revealed. It's written Etz hadat tov vera al tochal mimeno. There are two main ways how to read that verse. The tree of knowledge is good and bad. Don't eat from it. That's how usually people interpret that ver verse. The tree of knowledge contains good and bad within. So you be careful. Don't eat from it. It might damage you. The amount of bad that there is in it might spoil your system this was the way that the first man and his wife Chava were trapped into the verse through that way of reading and learning it because when they ate from tree of knowledge good and bad they fell to a world of calamity a world of distractions the world that we live in today that is the outcome of their action of eating from the etz hada'at tov vera bad and good within the tree of knowledge that we ate so it's in our system so the world is mixture of good and bad there is good and there is bad but there is another way to learn that verse etz hada'at tov vera al tochal mimeno the tree of knowledge is good and you should not eat the bad from it and that's it the tree of knowledge is good and you will not eat any kind of bad from it because it's good and if we would eat the tree the fruits of the tree of knowledge in that way we would come to that great understanding and that will be the understanding of the future to come of the redemption day that the world will become all good and there will be no more bad in the world at all and that's why we're calling it it's a datov the tree that access you to know that it's all good and in that understanding, 
we can understand that there is no bad. Bad will not be eaten from. It means we will not be fed in any kind of bad. That's it. All kinds of evil and darkness and sadness and bitterness and all weaknesses will just melt and disappear from the world in a moment. And only good will left for us to enjoy for 1,000 years, a long day, long present day, day of Havaya, day of eternity, eternal day, long day, 1,000 years of one long day. Can't wait, we should live it. Not to wait for it, we should live it. L-I-V-E. We should understand that when we're going to switch our mind from Etzada Tov Vera, that the tree of knowledge is good and bad, to the tree of knowledge good, not to be fed by any kind of bad, any kind of tyranny and evil, not to let it in, just not to experience it as bad, just to understand that it's all the oneness of Hashem that is being seen here. When we will switch that in our minds, the world around us will shift and change and become good, completely good. And bad we will not see in it. We will not be fed anymore. Now, what that I am left with is only with the will to bless you, to understand it and to grasp it with your minds and to help me to keep on shining this light out to the world for everyone to be able to enjoy the wisdom of Hashem, the true wisdom of good and truth and that that light will shine forever and ever more. Amen.